Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Jose, and today we're in the house with Jen Seltzer. What's up, guys? And, well, the, the girl does it all. Everything from fitness, modeling, to being on the big screen. She has a combined following of, what, 30 mil? About 30 million on Instagram. Just though. about. She's being modest, but... We're not going to be just talking about that. As you know, we're here to help you guys out. And we always talk about what to wear to look more attractive and look better. And who better to ask than Jen? Thank you. Yeah. Today, she's going to be giving you the five sneakers that are most attractive on guys and what you should be wearing. You ready? Let's go check out this place, guys. It's a zoo of sneakers, my favorite sneaker head. Let's hop into it. Let's do it. Quick shout out to Stadium Goods for letting us shoot in their store today. They're a premier sneaker marketplace with over 80,000 items ready to ship. Everything's in hand. All the sneakers have been verified and checked out, so you know they're authentic. If you're a dude that's into hype sneakers or sneakers that are tough to get your hands on, this is the store to do it at. Whether you're online or in store, this is the place to shop. And today, we're going to be going around with Jen Selter, showing you the five most attractive shoes that every dude should be buying. All right, so I hear you're a sneakerhead. I hear you have a whole collection. Is that true? I actually just built a sneaker wall. I took a whole room in my new apartment and made it all sneakers. Damn, that's dope. How did you even get started? What was the first sneaker that got you in the game? I would say that my first hype sneaker that I thought I was so cool would be this bad boy right here. Jordan, that's a classic thing. So as a dude that is into sneakers, what do you think that should be their first sneaker? So I think if you're not a sneakerhead and you're just starting your collection, simple is key. Air Force, plain. Air Force One. Yeah. So you can't go wrong with a plain white shoe, guys. I mean, it matches everything, even his outfit right now. You and they're 80 bucks. They're cheap. It's a steal. Bucks. It's a steal. Perfect. I mean, these are a little loud. I have that's these. <laughs> this is we're talking more big. Um, so yeah, I would, this is a good starter pack. Perfect. Do you have these? I do actually. Exactly. exactly. You know what's up, guys. You know it. You're a fitness model, right? Yep. So how important is fitness for a guy? I think fitness in general is just important for anyone and everyone just to feel better about yourself. Correct. And, you know, if you're stressed, you're having anxiety. How much does that attract you to a guy? Does, does that matter to you if they're in, in shape or not? I don't care if a man is in shape, but I care if they're motivated. You don't need to have six pack abs. So when it comes to gym sneakers, what is a good gym sneaker for a guy to have you think that's attractive? So I think comfort is key. Of course, you know, swag is always good, but when working out, it's more about like feeling good and being Correct. comfortable. Correct. So oh, any of these ultra boosts, right I would go with a plain white, a black on black. Those are, you can never go wrong. Those you are classic. You don't have to be too loud in the gym where it's like, what you doing? You heard it right there. So you were born and raised in New York, is that right? I was, I was raised in Florida. And honest, I was running, running through these New York streets and there's just so many guys, so many people. How does a guy stand out? Like, what makes you notice him? What's the first thing you even look at? I'm honestly always looking down at like a woman or a man's feet. I'm so you don't look at the eyes, you don't look at the face? I'm looking down, like sometimes on my phone, I'm guilty of that. But yeah, I'm just looking. I'm like, ooh, wow, a lot of New Balance today. Like, what's going on? I kind of like count in my head, like, what's in style? Like, what is everyone wearing? So if a guy wanted to impress you, what would he have to wear to really catch your attention? You know, something like hype beast, something like I think you're gonna like, like you're gonna like this cabinet then. Something in here, you think? Oh, wow. Well, would do the work? This looks like my closet. This is your closet. <laughs> so which one in particular do you think is a must have oh, like for a dude? Matching also, I like a, a good matching pair, like a, okay. his and hers. So, I mean, damn, any of these. These are one of my favorites that I have right here. The off-white collab. Damn, the Jordan 1s. Oh would you go with the OG colorway or you think blue is the best one? They're all so dope and different in their own way. Like, just the color. They're also theme. two stacks, so. I mean, you know, for like the men out there these days, just a, just put the full outfit together. Like, you don't need the off-whites. It stands out for sure, but like. Correct. Just invest in like an $80 little pair. Just like the Air fresh. Forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that makes sense. But if you got it, you got it. If you got it, you got it, and you, and you swag it. Now I know Jen is dropping a lot of knowledge for you guys, but Stadium Goods is about to drop some love to you guys because they want to do a giveaway within this video. They want to give away a pair of the Nike Air Force Ones off white to one of you guys and all you gotta do is super simple subscribe to stadium goods the link's gonna be down below follow stadium goods link also down below and then just like this video and comment down below your shoe size then we're just gonna pick a winner to win some of these air forces all right jen so this one might be a little bit outside the box i see you rocking designer footwear i, just I got it too okay. balenciaga what do you think about it i mean in moderation you don't want to be too loud so like those are the perfect black plain designer shoe nice and simple low key these are a like, subtle flex yeah subtle this gotcha. is like key for a woman but if a male is wearing that i mean it's like you're trying to be loud would you would you want a guy to wear them 
Designer footwear? Yeah. Like those are dope. But okay. Like you gotta be low key with it. Low key no, designer. Loud Nothing loud. In your face. Nah. Absolutely right. I talk about that all the time on my channel. You don't want to be obnoxious with it. I don't think girls like that all that much. So if you want to be more like understated and do okay. a little designer, I would go with like a CDG. That's a perfect choice. Off white. I don't love those, but you got like the blazers right here. The more chilling designer situation. Both of those are good designers, and I think CDG is a great choice just because those are 130, and they're way more affordable and accessible to almost any dude. 100%. Designer on the low. You know what? what? Max Day is coming up, and this is like a perfect fire pair. Damn, the Vapor Maxes. That's white. I think you, I Damn. think we have this open. Can oh, we open this? Open it. Yeah, go for it. Oh. Gently. Gently. Jackpot. I'm taking these bad boys. Home. Damn, those are hot. I got those in white and black. Yes, oh, of course. How about a quick speed round? Okay, Five good. shoes you would never want to see a guy wear. Okay. You think you can call them out? You got 30 seconds, let's go. Guys, here's some pairs that you should not wear on a date. According to Jen. According to me. Okay. Number one. These are like chunky monkey-ish over here, like I, The foam posits. Yeah, it's not. Like, foam posits, that's a no-go. Number two, let's go. Alright, I think we should keep the basketball shoes for on the court, like we're on a date, we're not one-on-one -on, -one on the court. So these should stay at home. No-go on basketball shoes. So this is a great, like, Christmas gift, I guess, but I would say for, like, Christmas Day only, and don't, don't show up. Alright, that's three. You got, like, 15 seconds. Two more. Alright, alright. Mm, I mean, the fur. Oh, so no fur. No, no fur. You don't like the SBs at all? Homeboy right here, the frog. Damn. Okay, so that's five. Yeah, frog. I think you I think you got five. You're done. 30 seconds. That was quick. All right, guys, so there you have it. Jen just gave you the five sneakers you should be wearing and the five she never wants to see you in. But, you know, before we end this real quick, if you were to walk out of here with one sneaker, which one would it be? I was going to walk out of here with one sneaker. We got to go with the most expensive pair. The most expensive? Oh. Of course. That's smart. Don't even care about the brand. Look at the price. Of course. So there you have it, boys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget, Jen just dropped out her YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check her out, it's going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.